So now people, the American people are panicking. Hey, it's the poor prepper. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not Tiatwaki. This ain't this is not the beginning of it. The end of the world as we know it, this is not it, it's not the beginning of it. This is a prelude. This is a dry run. So calm down. Everybody who wants the end of the world to come, I'm not one of them. But those of you who do, calm down. Ain't going to happen. As long as Trump is president, it's not going to happen. Once a Democrat gets in office and starts destroying the economy through rules, regulations, high taxation, it could happen. But this is not it. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you as the poor prepper about my day at the Walmart. I laughed my effing butt off. The, the, I put a video up. It was from my phone. And my vo the sound of my voice is probably pretty quiet. Sorry. I had it in my pocket here. And people kept going, hey, your light is on in your phone. Yeah, I know, I know. But I just wanted to go like this and walk down the aisles of the grocery store and let my phone show you just how empty the shelves are. Ladies and gentlemen, there's two types of people out there. Preppers and sheeple. Well, three types. Preppers, sheeple, and the deep state government people who want to run everything. Now, preppers, we prepare, we think for ourselves, and we lay in a supply of food no less than a minimum of a year's supply for every person in the household. Then we start thinking water for at least six months for every person in the household. And that that's not always just, you know, water on hand, but how to filter it and make it safe for consumption. Then we preppers start thinking of protection. A lot of people call it fire guns. We call it weapons. Your gun, a gun is between a guy's leg. A weapon is something you hold and hurt something with, somebody else with. A weapon can be a baseball bat. But we preppers tend to purchase weapons and we don't go out there and break laws. That's not our way. We don't want to break laws. We are law and order people. Doesn't doesn't sound like we are, but we are. How many preppers have you seen go out and shoot up a school or a church or anything else? Zero. Preppers don't do that. Preppers only care about the government leaving them alone. Let us live our lives. Now, the people of America, you are comprising a vast number of sheeple. Now, what is sheeple? Sheeple are human sheep. Why do I say that? A sheep, well, a farmer goes out, calls in his sheep. The sheep follow the farmer because the, they know the farmer's going to be bringing them food. And what happens? The farmer takes one sheep to slaughter, and the sheep doesn't know what's happening until it's too late. Sheeple. The American people are mostly sheeple. They believe what the media tells them, and they panic when the media tells them, and that's why we have what's going on now. To the media out there, thank you. All the preppers in America are looking at us going, now I've actually lived it, now I actually know it, now I actually have a better idea how to prepare for it. The people of America, they'll never prepare for it because they don't know what they're doing. They just do what they're told. The media tell them what to think, and they think it. Ladies and gentlemen of America, if you're tired of living and doing what the media tells you, then you might want to become a prepper. Step number one, food. No less than a one-year supply for every person in your household. Water. 
no less than a two month supply for every person in your household. Filtration and, and the ability to filtrate at least 10,000 gallons of water so you and your family can survive when the poop hits the fan. That's prepping. We're not evil, we're not terrible, we're not demons. And most of us are not doomsday preppers. You see the doomsday prepper show on the History Channel. Most preppers went, oh my god, I can't believe this, oh my god. Those morons gave us a bad name. 99% of preppers are not going to put a tube in the ground and retreat into that tube. Let me rephrase that. 99.9% .9 of preppers are not going to do that. The 0.1% of stupid preppers will do that. Smart preppers will never do that. Ladies and gentlemen, why are the shelves going, going totally barren in the Walmart and every other store in America? Because the media told you to panic and you believed them and you panicked. Now, here's the funny thing. If you did not panic, if you did, were not out there doing stupid, crazy panic buys, the shelves would be, would be full. Everybody in America would be able to go out there, purchase what they want, when they want, and everything would be fine. But the media made you panic, and you panicked. Look at what you got now. Why are you listening to the media? Preppers like me, we look at you, we're laughing our butts off. It's better than a Bill Angle concert. Or show, whatever you want to call it. Better than a Bill Angle or, or Jeff Foskworthy concert show. Because we can sit back in our chair and just look at the videos and watch all of you go totally bat guano insane. Why are you going stupid insane? You don't need to. Calm down. If you all calm down, the store shelves will refill and we can go back to living as we were two months ago. One month ago. Two weeks ago. But the media doesn't want that. They want all of you panicking. Now, think about something. Heard on Fox News today. The Costco in Yonkers, New York, they had traffic backed up one mile just to pull into their parking lot. Now that's impressive. The police had to go out there and start stopping people from walking in because there was the store was too full of people. It was a two hour wait just to get into the store and that's after you parked. Now, who's panicking and who's not? Preppers are not panicking. Preppers are sitting here laughing our butts off at you morons. You sheeple. All of the sheeple are panicking. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to do it. Calm down. Relax. This virus is not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be annoyances, to say the least. But, by the middle of, the end of April, middle of May, we're going to be going, why did we panic? Hmm, why did we panic? People will be looking back going, why did we panic? And also, all the people who panic buyed, when this is over, and the stores restock their shelves, the stores are going to have their stock prices crater because people are not buying anymore. Why? Because they've already fucking panic buyed and they need to deplete the, their panic buy resources. So then they go, oh wow, I got to go buy more toilet paper. I got to go buy more soup. More, I need to go buy some more pasta. It's going to take time for that to happen. And the stores, are their stocks are going to crater. The poor prepper said it first. Poor prepper said it first. Store stocks will crater after this is over. But only for half a week to a week. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you have questions, please leave a comment on the on the uh, YouTube channel or poorprepper13 at gmail.com. Poorprepper13. It's not TH blah blah blah. It's 13. Poorprepper13. And for God's sake, stop panicking. I can only laugh so much at you dumbasses. Have a good night.